Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video tutorial. In this video, we're gonna have a look on how to install Helios IP Vario Intercom. I will be demonstrating the electrical installation here on my desk, but don't worry, all the important aspects are pretty much the same, regardless whether it's on a table or at the door. So this is how the Helios IP Vario looks like straight from the box. First of all, you have to remove the stainless steel cover using a provided screwdriver. As the next step, you need to remove the four screws holding this middle plastic part with uh, buttons and a keypad to finally see the chassis with a PCB. At this moment, you should already have ready the place where you want to install the Helios IP Vario, including the wires for the Ethernet, power supply and lock connection. Please know the wiring scheme which describes the connection of the particular wires into the screw connector. After you connect all the wires to the screw connector, place the screw connector on its place. Please make sure that the wires will allow the replacement of the plastic cover back on its place later on. Now is the time to attach the Helios IP Vario chassis to the wall. Please use the two holes for screws which will hold the Helios IP on a wall or in a mounting box. It's very important, especially for outdoor installation, to make sure that no water or basically any humidity can get into the Helios IP Vario. I do recommend to seal all the openings in a chassis. If you wish to use your Helios IP Vario with a card reader, simply install it into the chassis using a connector and two screws. Make sure that the cables for the microphone are underneath the PCB of the card reader. Installing of this plastic part might seem easier as it is. It's kind of a tricky part because the cables or the loudspeaker might get stuck a little underneath and you make sure that everything is nice and neat organized under the plastic part and all the four screws fit exactly to their places. Now when this is Helios IP Vario with stainless steel cover back again ready to use. In the next part I will show you how the Helios IP boots up and how you can tell what is its IP address. After we plug the power supply in, the first sound announced that the Helios IP boots. The second one says that it got an IP address and this is how we make it say its IP address. If we are in the same local area network, we can also use Helios IP network scanner to go through the whole network and let us see the IP addresses and some other information about Helios IP intercoms in a network. Now Helios IP Vario, straight out of the box, expects a DHCP server in your network. If you don't have one, it doesn't get an IP address, that means uh, you can't find it uh, using a network scanner and you can't make it say it IP address because it doesn't have one. Now what to do, within 30 seconds from boot of the Helios IP Vario, just press 15 times the right hand side button and it will reboot automatically with DHCP off and with the default address 192.168.1.100. So that's it for today. I hope that installing of Helios IP Vario will be an easy job for you and don't forget to check our website for latest news.